Hey YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis, I hope you're doing well today. Um, we often get questions in tech support about GX uh, and Prodigy WX, um, yeah, especially in, you know, in WX when you're in expert mode, there's a field that will show up called commands. Um, you will see this field in the system settings, uh, in inputs, areas, modules, uh, you know, pretty much in every um, hardware programming tables. Um, and this is basically uh, a field that uh, we will basically use sometimes if there's a special feature that is not a, like a radio button in the system, but available in the firmware, okay? Uh, there are several examples uh, of commands that we can use, uh, typically for special applications. Um, but even myself, I've been looking at this list, which is currently you know, being updated you know, every couple months or years by ICT. Uh, and I discovered things that I didn't even know existed. So it's quite useful. Sometimes these functions will help you save time in programming. So instead of using a whole bunch of programmable functions, uh, you can use these commands to uh, speed things up and make the system work the way you want, all right? So uh, if you want to have the full description of all of the available commands, um, you can go on, on the ICT.co website under My ICT and then Application Notes and Application note, uh, which is called AN 325, 325, is will basically the, the list that you want to look at if you want to use these commands or learn about them. Okay, so um, so quickly today, I'm going to show you uh, some examples of commands that we often use, right? Um, and I'm going to show you how to navigate to that document and how, and where to put the commands. Okay, so. Um, if we look at the system now, let me show you the application node quickly. Obviously, I'm not going to go over each every one of them, but uh, just remember this is available, so it's a good trick to have on your side when you're doing some advanced programming on a WX or a GX system. Okay, let's have a look at the document quickly, and then I'll show you my WX panel with some examples of commands. So again, quickly, this is application node 325. Um, as you will find out, there's commands available in all, all of these programming sections. Um, commands that we use a lot, um, you know, on, on you know WX or GX systems, especially when you have an upgraded to the latest, latest firmware, or let's say if you're switching from a Prodigy SE system to a GX or WX, and you have some Ethernet modules like the PRT RDE to PCB. Um, or if you have PRT MNR2s, the repeater, um, you know, uh, module for IC, from ICT. So, um, you know, in the controller by default, uh, the UDP and TCP ports are closed um, in the latest firmware version. So, if you pick a brand new uh, GX controller or WS controller from the shelf, um, by default, you know, you cannot ping the device because it's protected. You cannot connect the MNR2 or ICT entry station intercoms because the port is closed, okay? So as an example, when you have some modules on the Ethernet network, uh, for instance, this is the command to use for the PRT MNR2, uh, and this will uh, open the port for the entry stations, um, you know, and there's also a command to enable ping and, and stuff like that. So uh, if you have, let's say, an MNR2 on a, on a site, and for some reason you're not seeing the modules behind the MNR2, um, you will need to enable the UDP port on the controller. So you just set this command, which is by the true variable, is going to enable the port, okay? So most probably if you aren't able to connect the MNR2, that's the reason why, okay? Um, so, you know, there's lists for, you know, uh, the doors, the inputs, areas, you know, uh, the door types, that's something I use a lot, like to force the system to count the users for anti-pass back or the user counting for dual authentication. So when you have two users badging, the count will go to two and not just one. You know, there's advanced functions like this that you can use, okay? So just read, have a good read, you know, and it's basically gonna help you have ideas about things you can do with the WX or GX, okay? Now let's have a look at the WX interface. To give you an example, if I had on this site an entry station and an MNR2, uh, these will be the commands to use, okay? So I found this by the system page and then system settings, okay? And you can just save them. And then the controller will open those ports so that the modules can communicate with it, okay? So it's good for the entry station to connect with the SOAP service of the WX or GX. And also in this case for an MNR2 to allow a communication channel with the GX or WX controller, okay? But if you navigate around the system, you'll find commands field indoors, inputs, you know, here. So you have them all over the place. And the application node 325 document will show you 
by group or by, let's say, by item, let's say doors, uh, door types, input types, and so on, we'll show you the commands that are available, okay? So again, this was a quick uh, tutorial on how to use commands in the ICT Protege WX or GX systems. Remember, for WX, uh, you will only see this menu if you have downloaded the license in expert mode. So if you have completed your uh, WX training um, and completed the exam, then when you register a panel, those advanced features will, 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 you know, will show up, all right? Like um, elevator control, preamble functions, and in this case, commands uh, that you can now use, okay? So if you don't see this field, it's probably because you're not certified yet or you haven't registered the panel yet, okay? So again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We release videos every week, so it's good to be a uh, subscriber so you receive a notification when we have new videos. Um, remember, Inaxis is the proud Canadian distributor of ICT products, so if you need help, go to Inaxis.com. You can reach the support and sales team from there, okay? Again, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching.